In this question, we are asked to find out the value of load resistor which maximizes the power delivered to it. So, we have to find out a particular value of R such that this network can transfer maximum power to the resistor. Now, first we will see what is the conditions for maximum tra power transfer. Now, say we have a Thevenin's impedance of a circuit with say resistive part as RTH and the reactive part as XTH and we need to transfer maximum power to a load which is RL plus JXL now we will see what is the general case now if this is the case for maximum power transfer EZL should be equal to the conjugate of EZTH that means if you have 10 minus 5J as the impedance of a network then for maximum power transfer the load impedance should be 10 plus 5J okay now if the load is completely resistive or if the the means equivalent of the network is completely resistive then the condition is modulus of ZL should be equal to modulus of ZTH that means if it is completely resistive then it is equivalent of saying RL should be equal to RTH we already know this condition now this is the case when both are resistive so we can say this case is both being resistive now let's say ZTH is complex that means it have both resistive and reactive part and ZL is purely resistive now what will be the condition that is the load must be equal to modulus of ZTH that means this is completely resistive means ZL will be just RL RL should be modulus of ZTH this is the condition we have here that means we have a load which is completely resistive and we are asked to find out its value but the impedance is having both resistive and reactive part what is its value we have R equal to or RTH equal to 10 ohms and what is the impedance offered by one entry J omega that will be J into what is the omega omega equal to 10 because the plate voltage is EM cos 10T its omega is 10 into one entry that is 10J which means we have a Thevenin's inch resistance of the ne network as is a th equal to what is the resistive part 10 plus what is the reactive part 10j okay we have found out what is is a th now we have to find out rl that means we have to find out what is the modulus of is a th so that the maximum power is transferred that will be root of 10 square plus 10 square which will be root 2 into 100 14.14 so if r equal to 14.14 we can maximize the power transfer to it